Need need I'm back in this bitch, ain't been in a stew in a minute Lately I've been feeling livid, I was throwing bricks in the back How my temple was feeling, literally though I've been angry as fuck Just grinding so hard I've been getting them bucks Snapping my picture and my middle finger stay up They know I'm not giving a fuck, bitch I find it fun Hey y'all, that song y'all just heard on my intro is my new freestyle. It's um on Apple Music and the full video is on my channel already. So if you ain't tapped in, make sure you tap in. And uh just excuse the way this video jump around because I was recording over the course of like a week and a half. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. What's up gang? It's Fanita. And I'm like two, three days post hospital. I got out on Sunday, it's Wednesday. I'm getting my hair done right now. I'm kind of just been trying to do some self care and after care uh, since getting out. Just kind of trying to get myself back together, feeling like myself and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm getting my hair done. That's what I'm doing right now. I've been doing a lot of resting, but I just wanted to show y'all because I've been saying I was going to get it done. So.
So don't give away And another woman that can take your spot, my love So don't give away, my love this is the final product. Super, super cute. It got some some mousse on it still. Giving y'all my bob giving. It's so cute. This is so cute, y'all. Hey, this is cute. I like this. It's cute. I love it. I got these from the hair school. They're like wings. I'm finna put them in my hair. I'm gonna ask my mom to help me. This is with the clips. There was only like six of them in there. So I kinda just put them like throughout my hair a little bit. I don't know. I like it. I think it's giving. I like the style. I think it look good on me. Really cute. It's giving that bitch, it's giving that bitch thing. I'm getting back to myself. See, I'm still trying to feel like myself physically, but we looking like myself. Hey vlog, I put some clothes on for the first time in a bunch of days. We about to go to some stores. Good afternoon, welcome to Starbucks. Could be a certain Man, have a tall caramel frappuccino with extra caramel, please. I might look at their vlog cameras. I might look at their vlog cameras. I definitely need one. Oh, Y'all, do it like this, y'all. At least, it looks like this, so I will be able to see. I will be able to see. I'm gonna buy me a camera, guys. Oh, this one. $100 more. This is the one I was looking at. This is high. Look. $100. You could just buy a mic to go with it, right? This is the one everybody getting. They definitely got vlog cameras. I definitely don't got the money for that right now. But I want to get it for myself uh, by the end of the year. Just as a reward for me staying consistent. That's why I haven't bought a camera. Because I was like, I don't want to buy one. And then I'm going to be consistent uh, recording. So it'll be about a year since I've been consistently posting. So I deserve a camera. I'm doing some research to see which one I need to get for real. These are cool. Hey y'all, I'm back home. Let me move up. Come on. My phone camera, I mean my phone microphone is shitty. They don't be acting like it wanna pick up my my voice and stuff that's why i really gotta get a camera but my hair done so i want to put these nails on these are the nails that i really been liking you know like i was a long nail girl for like all of high school if you know me you know i used to come to school my nails long as fuck clickety clacking around but this i'm i'm in this era right now like the, the length is perfect for like when I'm still doing my trays and stuff. And I love the fresh tip. It's classic, like it's classic, you know what I mean? You can't really, you can't go wrong with the uh, fresh tip. What's the baby say? 
You know you a bad bitch. Classy nails, French tip. These bitches can't fuck with you. White toes for the whole Chanel bag off the Chanel swag. I swear I'm feeling you. You ain't just cute. You getting money too. I'm finna trick on who? Babe, you know you fine, don't you? Babe, you know you fine. Babe, you know you fine, don't you? Babe, you know you fine. You can go bust down middle part or side. You can go by or you can go blind. <laughs> These nails cute though. I like these nails. So I always chit chat with y'all when I put on my nails. But I haven't um uh, I haven't sized these up yet. So I think I'm gonna size these up first. And then I'm gonna talk to y'all while I go on my own because my multitask skills don't be the best. I know YouTube like to be weird, but y'all see I got a shirt on. So yeah. Y'all know what I really hate? Cause y'all know like this a week, um, uh, this the week after me being in the hospital for for, uh, for a whole week. Y'all can't tell for real. But I can tell, bro. Like, my face is, like, breaking out really bad. It just doesn't look... My skin does not look how it normally looks. It's been, like, really hella dry. My nose ring is fucking up. Like, my back. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see. I wanna show y'all though. I wanna show y'all my back. My back is really like, it's toe up. I don't know. Like, compared to the rest of my skin, my shit wasn't like that before I went in there. Now I'm having skin issues. <sighs> it's so irritating. Yeah, like that is so irritating. Like, I'm just trying to get back to myself. It's Friday, so I really only got this weekend left. And I'm supposed to be going back to work on Monday. Last time I thought I was going back to work on Monday. Y'all see how that turned out. Uh, so, I really don't even know what I want to talk about on this TED Talk. Uh, let's talk about how serious my last video was. I didn't even mean to be that serious. I mean, obviously it's serious. But I play all day. Like, I never really uploaded nothing that serious on my channel. I never uploaded anything having to do with my disability. I barely even talk about it. Like, I only talk about it if somebody asks me about it. Other than that, I don't talk about it. But I guess like the experience, the experience that I had just made me like really want to talk about it more. Not all the time, but it made me want to talk about it more because I realized I could help somebody going through what I'm going through. And, um, you never know who I might educate or something like that. Like, people might not know. So, you know, I was just coming to enlighten y'all and give y'all, like, a real life, like, perspective of, like, what I be going through, how, how I be feeling. And I know other people probably be, they probably be feeling how they be feeling too. But, um, I was just trying to, like, be, like, uh, what what little nurse say the voice? I'm trying to be the voice for the people going through the st some still eh, but <laughs> I was trying to be the voice of people that's going through similar situations because it's a lot of people going through what I'm going through, or they might not be going through exactly what I'm going through, but they might just have to deal with like having a disability or. It might be somebody that watches me that have children with a disability or I don't know who be watching me. So ain't no telling who I might be able to help or who I'm like speaking for other than myself. So I really be trying not to put these nails on crooked because that is my biggest pet peeve, crooked press ones, bro. I can't stand putting on crooked nails. But yeah. On a lighter note, I look way better than I did. I feel way better than I did. I'm not at a hundred. I'm not going to lie to y'all and say that I am. I'm definitely not at a hundred. I'm. I still been trying to touch my toes. I can't do that. Um, I don't even know if that's an accurate measurement. I don't even know if I could touch my toes before. I think I could. I'm pretty sure I could touch my toes. Like it was stretching. I felt a stretch, but I could do it. I can't even like reach down that far. Like. My back is still really, like, fragile right now. I don't know if y'all could see when I just tried to show y'all, but it's ate up. It's toe up. My skin toe up. It's really, like, 
frustrating. It makes me feel like self-conscious a little bit because uh, it's just one more thing I gotta deal with, you know? But on the bright side, I'm glad I'm home, you know? Even though I only have a couple more days to be home, which I have a follow-up on Monday. If I really wanted to, I could tell my doctor to excuse me from work for another however many days. However, like I said, I haven't been at work in like three weeks. We just got paid yesterday and my check was $70 because that I, I that's all I work. <laughs> that pay period, it was like one day. So it's just like, I, I want to go back to work because I need, the, I need the money and I miss the kids. But part of me just don't want to go back to work right now because my mom was just like, oh, well, maybe you still need more time. So, like, I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, do I need more time? <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I feel like I need to just, I feel like I can go back. I feel like maybe just I can just take it easy. I only work six hour shifts and I don't even be there for six hours most of the time. And I don't have to go all out, you know, I can just take it easy, take take it slow and just ease my way back into my routine. I feel like that will help me. Do you look crooked? I hope not. I hate crooked press-ons, like, I hope they not crooked. I don't know, I feel like I just need to ease my way back into it. My body's definitely not opposing another week. I'm just really conflicted, you know what I mean? It's really hard to be just off right now. Like, I love my job. It helps me mentally. And I haven't been there in so long. I'm getting depressed. I feel like they're going to forget about me. I feel like they done forgot about me already. I don't know. You be thinking kids forget shit and then they don't forget. You remember you said you was going to do that? Da, da, da? Maybe they didn't forget about me, but still. I don't know. I feel like I need to be back. Like, I'm ready to get back to myself. But I'm just trying to work on my self-care. And part of that is just giving myself enough time to get back right. It's not, it's obviously not going to be a overnight turnaround. But I've. it's been a week, man. I was down for a week. I've been out for a week. Down and out. I've been down and out, man. I don't know. I'm ready to, like, get back to myself. Get back to my own, like, life. Like, I'm really salty as fuck because Halloween coming up. Mind you, I don't celebrate holidays. But, you know, Halloween parties, it's finna be lit probably all weekend. And I'm finna be in the house, like, again, for the third weekend in a row. Like, I had plans the last two weekends. Now, like, whatever is going on this weekend, I'm going to have to pass, obviously. I'm really not, if I'm barely feeling like I can go to work, I'm damn sure not going to be able to go to no Halloween party. If it's already Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. So, I know it's going to be lit down there all weekend. And I can't even participate. So, I just feel, like, really just upset a little bit. Like, I want my life back. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't know. I feel like this is crooked. It look crooked, don't it? My finger kind of crooked, though. For real, for real. My finger kind of... I love putting on rings when I have on nails. I'll probably put some rings on. And then just do one of those. I wanted to, like, do my eyebrows and my lashes, which I probably might do tomorrow. I think I will do it tomorrow. Oh, no. Mm, my finger got stuck to the nail. Uh, they messed it up. Mm. Uh, I don't want to put it on now. It's messed up. I might put on my lashes. I just might put on some lashes just for tonight. Like, not doing eyebrows, but just put some lashes on so then I can, like, get on TikTok. I get on Instagram and just do this in my bed. Since I can't go outside, I can just do this. I'm so salty. I can't go to no parties or nothing. Uh, Obi would have been like, girl, we don't even go to parties. 
Okay, well, now I do. I go to parties now. And it be fun. And I be liking to go outside. I can't even go outside, though. And I'm so sad. So sad. Really sad about that. Oh, yeah. I, my mom, she bought me the stuff. Like a little travel case with a bunch of stuff in it. And she was like, well, you know, you can have like an emergency hospital bag. And we can just like keep it in the car. Because every time I get sick, it do be so unpredictable. And, I, and, and like the times I do get admitted, like I don't be having shit on me. Like, like to take care of myself, like hygiene wise and shit like that. And you know how the hospital be. And you know, if you be in there for some days, you gonna be dirty if you don't take a shower and you don't wash your butt. It was hard, but I was at, I couldn't really take no shower, but I had to like use the sink type shit, bird bath type shit. See, here's what it looked like. Oh well, it's cute. these are cute. That made me feel good. These little nails are cute. Yeah, I wanted to put my little uh I wanted to put my little emergency hospital bag together and I can like show y'all right quick. I was gonna do a whole video, but I figured I don't need to do a whole video on that. It's not really gonna be that long. I mean I can just show y'all this is the shit that I need and use when it's time to go to the hospital. Kind of like pregnant people, but I'm not pregnant. I have a chronic illness. Uh-huh. Nails are done. That's cute, right? Now I got to get some, um, some rings. So first thing, I know I said I wanted to show y'all my emergency hospital bag and stuff, which I'm going to show y'all that in a minute, but I wanted to, uh, oh, I forgot to get my rings. I want to put my lashes on this stuff right quick. I'm not going to do my eyebrows today. I don't feel like doing that. But I'll put some lashes on right quick. And I do like my lips. And then I'll change my nose ring. And then I'll, I'll do all that. I'll do all that. Boom. Wait. I had one on this finger, I thought. First thing I'm about to do is change this nose ring. The rings just take it up a notch. I love that. So that way, like, when I take my pictures and I'll be like, give me. So I got a, a hoop in right now. I'm going to take it out. Now, it is hard to take out rings like this with nails. But these nails are short. See, it's real crusty. I need to go clean it out. All right, so I got some, like, saline that I made, like, salt water. And uh, I've been trying to like clean it. My skin is like peeling and shit. And then I got some type of crusty shit going on on the inside. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's just, it's tender and it hurt. It, it's killing. Y'all know how piercings do if you got them. This has been the most unproblematic piercing that I fucking have. That and my ears, the first ear hole, the second ear holes I have, like, they act ultra sensitive. I have my fucking cartilage pierced, but um, earrings bother that, rubbing up against it. My nose ring, it does this shit every so often, or it'll get, like, those little pimples on the inside, which I know is only from, like, germs and me touching it all the time and moving my nose ring all the time. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I be doing that because I can't fucking help it. Uh, and I got my fucking nose pierced years ago. I was like a freshman. I was pretty sure. I was, I was like a freshman when I got my nose pierced. But I'm about to change my ring though. I'm about to change my nose ring. Oh, this one is gold. My septum is silver. I don't be caring about mixing gold and silver. I do that shit all the time. Okay, see, that went in really good. That went in really well. Really easy. And you know, the bad thing about that, I mean, it's going to come out really easy. You see that? I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. That's why I don't wear studs. Did y'all see how easy that just came out? Literally. This is something you wear for like a couple hours. 
I don't want to put this shit in because it's going to be out of my nose. By the, like, if I go to sleep and wake up, it's not going to be in my nose anymore. Y'all see how easy that was to just come out. Like, oh my gosh. But it is so cute. Maybe I'll just wear it for the pictures. Dangly hoop it is. I'm not trying to lose it. I don't even know why I bought this. And I already know how I am. I don't even know why I bought this. I'm kind of sad that I actually spent my two, three dollars on that because, or three, four dollars, however much I spent, because it's going to come out so easy. I'm about to put the dangly hoop in. I don't got time for my nose ring to be coming out, for real. I like that the nose rings go in so easy and they come out easy. It makes it easier for me, especially with what it's doing right now. See, that's cute. And it matches. It's a little heart. Can y'all tell? That's cute. My mom gave me some colorful rings. Because the rings I had on was like tarnishing. These are super cute. Super cute. I got these lashes. I bought some weeks ago. I guess I'll put these on right quick. I use hair glue to put my lashes on. I have lash glue, but it's kind of like empty. So I'm going to use what I got. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put these on on camera, but I can try. I'm not no professional. I'm that girl, but you have the lashes sitting everywhere. Like, I got lashes everywhere. It's a pair of lashes sitting in my bathroom on the sink. I just talked to my mom. I don't know that I am going to be returning to work on Monday. Because I've just been kind of in here. Not really with no energy. And yeah. That's the only thing about hair glue. Maybe I will try to use my lash glue because I'm not trying to have these stuck on like that. Which I have two different lash glues in here. But they kind of like empty for real. I need to buy. Like I got this Kiss one, but it's like, it's down there empty. Because I was using it to put on my wigs for a minute. And then this one is like clumped up. Like, there's a little bit in here, though. I think that's why I keep them in my purse, because you never know. I got this uh, little mirror I, I'm going to try to use. Yeah, I'm going to try. The lashes already got, like, sticky stuff on them. I put the little lashes on. And then I'll show y'all my, um, I'm going to show y'all my new makeup bag. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, pack my hospital emergency kit bag. Y'all remember them emergency kit videos from back in the day? The girls used to be packing their little emergency kit for school. It's kind of like that. Hospital edition. I love a good liner on the lips. This will be a great eye eyebrow pencil. I think the liner with the lip gloss is just top tier. See, it added a lot to the look. So, on Sunday, I went to Walmart. I went in a clearance, and I found this. Y'all know I love the poppets. If you know me, you know. I love the poppets. My whole iPad case is a poppet. I got a bunch of these. And I found a little bag. I'm like, that is so cute. I can put my little stuff in there for my purse. This was like perfect for me. I love this. And it fits in my purse. But I got my lip gloss in here. Y'all know I love me some lip gloss. I love this one. It's almost gone though. But this mainly like, this mainly the kind I be using. You know, they got these in all the colors. So, I got that in there, my new little lip pencil, I put that in there, my little raggedy uh, eyelash glue, put that in there. I got contacts in there, 
because sometimes when I wear contacts, they be coming out. And you never know, like, if you got to change your contact or, I don't know. I just always keep extras on me, like, if I go out with my glasses and I want to put contacts on or if my contacts come out or, you know, stuff like that. I always like to have extra contacts in because I've been in a situation where my contacts came out in public and it was really bad. I was at school. I got these, like, travel size perfumes this one is like basically empty this is a billy eilish sample it smells so good y'all know i love my girl i love my girl i will buy the full size of this i just haven't been nowhere to buy it i love it so much it's damn near gone now i might as well polish it off huh it smells so good i love like vanilla notes and like vanilla probably my favorite scent i love a good vanilla i got myself vaseline in there because why not i got some hand sanitizer which is almost gone Shit. i got me a tiger bomb to keep in my purse just in case i'm like out somewhere and i need it i got some nail glue for when i be having all my press ons and it's going pop off Got a sharpener for my pencil, some floss, which I don't like regular floss like that, but I don't have a bag of floss, so that's what I got. I got a hair tie, you never know, you might need that. And I got a nail clipper, because I always be needing a nail clipper. And everything just fits in here so nice, so cute, and it's a poppet, like, it's really good. I love anything that's a poppet. So yeah, that's my little, that's my little like makeup purse bag, you know. It's not really all makeup in here. This is just stuff that I need. It's, it's barely any makeup in here. I, the only thing makeup related I have in here is my lip stuff. But you know, it's always good to have like just a little bag of everything you need. Because this is the stuff that I be digging around for in my purse. So I ain't got to dig for it. I could just pull this out and yeah so i love i love that i did want to show y'all that because i was happy about the purchase it was two dollars but this is the bag my mom bought me for my emergency hospital bag thing and i just got some stuff like that i was gonna put in there i also have a um, this this is a foldable you fold it up but it's just a little bag like this it's like a little tote bag from target so like i can put my little i could put this in there and then like uh whenever i need to like go to the hospital right quick i can have stuff like i could just throw like some underwear in there some socks a bonnet a charger like it can just hold my sink so i'm gonna just show y'all what i got in here i was gonna put a couple pads in here because Last time, I ended up starting my cycle the same day I ended up going. That was really bad. So, I'll probably add some pads in here, too. Mom um, found this little cute, this little, um, what is this, lotion? I never tried their lotion, but this is cute. It's, it smells good. And they gave me, they gave me, uh, you know how they be at the hospital? They be giving you, like, they give you, like, little, like, body wash but it just be like basic it don't be having no like smell so i just i still be using it i still will use it but she got me one that got like smells too so i don't gotta like just use that one i can use a good one and um she got me a little deodorant so i don't be in there i have to i don't gotta stink and this day this a this a uh toothpaste that they gave me i also got these uh i got these disposable um what do you call these washcloths but they give you washcloths when you in there it's just like this is good for travel so i actually might put a couple of these in my purse too you never know when well, you might need it you might need it i don't know shit sure. Like, if you might want to wash your face or something. I don't know. 
they they uh they gave lotion too, which I keep in the big bag, but uh you know just so you don't gotta like run through everything. They have a rinse free body bath and shampoo. I don't know how that works, but I took it anyway. It's kind of like a hotel. I don't know. I just take shit. Then they got like this little towel thingy. I think it's supposed to be wet a little bit. I don't think it is wet though. I don't know. And then I got another Tiger Balm. This is the Walmart brand. It worked the same to me as the other one. And it's like two, three dollars cheaper. So I'm gonna keep one in my purse and then I'm gonna keep one in this bag. And then I got one by my bed. So I should have one whenever I need it. I wanna get another um I wanna get another little travel size aquaphor because like I said, this the shit that be giving me be tearing my skin up. I don't know. I gotta get me another travel aquaphor. Which I got some aquaphor that is I can throw in here that's not it's not it's not like super small but it's it's small enough to put in this bag. So I think I'll put the bag I'll put that in this bag too. And then um yeah, I could just have this. Like I could just have this in the car so late and I could just like only thing I might just have to grab is like maybe my bonnet and like a charger, like my iPad or something. But I'll put like some, some like panties in here, some socks in here. And then I could just have it. So I don't have to always be going and not have shit. Cause I always I always end up in that situation and then I'll be having like a dead phone and like so that's mainly what I need to just remember to bring like a charger. But yeah, I could just have this and then I could just keep it for when I be having to run to the hospital in the middle of the night and shit and you don't got time to like pack you a bag. Cause I mean, I don't know that I'm gonna stay every time but for the time that I do, I can just have that already accessible to me so I don't gotta worry about needing shit or going to get shit. I think I'm gonna put an aquaphor in there though. And I got an extra bonnet. I think I'll put my extra bonnet in there. And then so all I literally would have to grab is a charger. Which, if I'm hurting that bad, I'll still forget a charger. I'll be like, fuck a charger, but at least I have everything else. Hey vlog, it's Sunday, it's my last day off. I don't know if I'm gonna extend my time off. I feel pretty good. I'm not at 100 and I still have to take pain medicine right now. So I don't know if I wanna go to work off of that, but I'm gonna just try. I feel good enough I can try. I'm gonna try, cause I really miss my kids and I really miss my job. I'm getting gas right now. I just dropped my brother off to work. I'm about to go home, smoke, do my eyebrows and my lashes. Then I'm going to take my mama to work. I'm going to try to put me on an outfit before I leave back out. But I don't know if I'm having enough time. So if not, then I'm going to just come back over here, get dressed. Then I'll go back over there by my brother's job. Because we were supposed to take pictures today. I wanted to give me a pedicure, but I don't know if I'm going to go do it or not. So, y'all see where I'm at. I really started not feeling good. So, like, I'm probably not going to do none of that stuff that I said I was going to do. Because I don't feel good right now. I just feel like I can just only lay here. And that's why I feel like I'm going to extend my time off. I want to just feel better, really. That's all. But I was supposed to, like... At least to get cute and do my eyebrows, do my lashes, take some pictures. I don't know if I'm going to do that either. Um, yeah. <laughs> I never had Dunkin' before. I never had a refresher before. 
quite frankly, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but it's okay. Alright. Dragon fruit and green tea. I don't know about that. Why they had to add a green tea for it? I don't get it. I don't understand refreshers. Actually... Alright, y'all. Let's see what we got. Hey guys, it's like raining and we got snacks. So, you know what that means. Movie night. Because it's Monday. I do got a job, but I ain't going. <laughs> so, I ain't got shit to do. Everybody else is chilling, so we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill and we're gonna watch movies and stuff. Everybody gonna pick a movie. Me, mom, dude, we're gonna pick a movie in. We got hella shit. That's some real high shit. That's why you're gonna go to the store high or hungry. But I did both. And I don't know what I want my movie to be, what we about to watch, but I wanna watch something funny, I think. Movie night was fun. I didn't record it, but after that, I had to clean my bathroom because no matter what, that's something I like to stay on top of because I love me a nice, good bath, and I don't be wanting to take a bath if the bathroom not on point. I like doing it weekly, but because I was sick and stuff, I didn't do it that week. So this was, I think, my first time cleaning my bathroom. Um, since before I went in the hospital and stuff like that because when I came home my mom she cleaned my tub for me so I could take a bath but I think this was my first time cleaning it um, on my own since everything and I was moving okay you know like I was getting better as the week was going by but um, I was still trying to get back to myself all the way y'all already know how that be trying to clean the tub and stuff y'all back be hurting and stuff but I just love a good clean bathroom because it just gives good vibes. It gives light a candle and chill out and have you a glass of wine. So I really wanted to feel good in my environment, especially because, um, like I was saying in the video, I did end up having to um, take some more time off of work in addition to that week that I was recovering because my body just wasn't ready. So while I was at home, I just wanted to make it as comfortable as possible. And, you know, you just feel better when your space around you just, just look better and it's clean and you can have a clean house and a clean mask. So then I went to go run my bath. Love a good bath. These are the Epsom salts I've been using. Both of them from Walmart. This one for chronic pain comes in different, it's like different versions. There's like one specifically for like muscles and stuff like that. And then that other Epsom salt, it has the uh, the melatonin in it. And those two together, baby, be having me together. And I love that the Epsom salt make bubbles too. Like not too much, but it make bubbles. So I really like that. And then I've been using this scrub and love that scrub. But um, yeah. So, now I'm about to get cute because I said I was going to do that the other day um, that y'all seen. And I just ended up laying in the bed. So, this is me trying to redeem myself from not really feeling that well the other day. And once I got, like, towards this point in the week um, right here, I was feeling pretty good. Probably about, like, 85%. Eighty-five percent was pretty cool compared to how I had been feeling, but I wanted to get as close to one hundred percent as I could possibly get because I just had been tired of feeling down and out and not feeling like myself. But yeah, I was doing my little brows, making them on fleek or whatever. I don't know nothing about all that little new stuff y'all be doing with the makeup, but y'all be eating down. But I don't know nothing about that, so I just do the little simple little one two one two. What I know how to do. You know, just in case I got to go out a little cute. You know what I mean? Because bad bitch like me don't got to do too much anyway. But I still use tape for the wing liner, so. I'm not finna be calling your motherfucking phone. Like, call me the fuck back. Drop your location. Something I'm finna be your ass. You got me fucked up. Call me back now. Bitch, you got me fucked up. 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 Bitch
My um, popular opinion is that Ari ate the fuck down on that voicemail. Um, she left on Money Bad Song. And y'all didn't like it, but I liked it because it be like that. But yeah, once you peel that tape, girl, it's gonna look real, real fly, real good, real crisp, real clean. And I was just looking like a baddie. So I was doing my little mascara and stuff, and then I was doing my little lips. Good little one two on the lips, you know. The, the liner with the lip glosses is undefeated. If you know, you know. But y'all done turned into a baddie right quick on y'all. Period. Period. Yeah. Look at me, y'all. I look so cute. I finally, ooh, period skin, period sun. I finally did my hair. I finally, well, my hair been done. I finally did my eyebrows and my lashes. Eyebrows and my lashes. Uh -huh, look so cute. I can't even see myself in the camera. I just see myself in the reflection of the phone. And the reflection of the phone, it's a bad bitch right there. I look so cute. We might take some pictures. I don't know. If we do, I'll show y'all. If we don't, then y'all not going to see that. It's probably going to be towards the end of the vlog. Anyway, but. Cute. Cute. My bitch bad. Sits like red. Freak. I love when she gives me head. He hang, he mad, he dead. Green. Better than his own red. Now we are in the city. It's dark. We went downtown to do a little quick photo shoot. But loud, like y'all. It was cold as fuck. Like, I moved to Tennessee from Ohio, and it felt like Ohio outside. I was not fucking with it. Like, I probably look cold in some of the pictures and shit like that. I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put some of the picture results at the end of this video. Make sure y'all go follow my brother's photography page. He doing his big one, only 17 years old. Go follow him and shit on his page. He doing his shit. But yeah, we did a little shoot. It only took us about an hour. We was trying to move fast because, like I said, it was it was cold as fuck outside. It felt like Ohio. So we was trying to really, really uh, get across that bitch and make our rounds where, where we had to go. But yeah, here go some of the pictures, though. <laughs> you heard you got a suit? Can you drop it? Yeah, I got a What's up, vlog? I'm at home. Changed. Comfortable. Why well, I want to play right when I start vlogging? This, this had been paused for like 20 minutes. 10 minutes. 5 minutes. I look cute, but I might take these lashes and stuff off. And like wash my face. And just like get more comfortable. Cause I'm comfortable, but I just, I need to take all this stuff off. So that's what I'm about to do. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Probably about to wrap it up. Mm, I might film something tomorrow. I don't know. Just so I can have like a couple videos on deck. I might try to film a couple things tomorrow. We are gonna see how I feel. But yeah. Thank you for watching my video, period. I'm gonna link uh, my brother's photography stuff in the description in the last video and all that all that social media stuff gonna be down below yup yup jeez but yeah peace out 18 down